What's up guys and welcome to Work With Zay. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, please hit the like button and the notification bell if you can. And I'll jump right into it. Today I'm talking about investments. I'm gonna try and fly through it because a couple of prior tries, some glitching happened in the computer. So I'm just gonna try and fly through this because I got to run to Copper Sound and get to work. We're working on a big project. So today, investments. Number one investment, you. And I'm gonna break it down to two categories for you. And this is how it breaks down. First, your well-being. It's the most important. You need to wake up and feel excited about life, about practice, about whether it's this or whatever else you're working on, and about you as a person. And I'm not saying like, I need to find myself and blah, blah, blah. No, you just have to feel good about who you are. Stay positive. That, if that means go for a run at 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. or whenever you wake up in the morning, first thing, that's a great thing to do. Work out get a cup of coffee, start feeling like your day is on fire so that you can be on fire for the rest of the day. And I know that sounds kind of like, you go get them, guys, but that's, you know, it's kind of the way you should start your morning. All right. And the second breakdown of investing in you is this. Three little mini categories, learning, understanding, and application. What that means is your craft, kind of mastery, what that all works out as. So learn what you're working on make that your number one investment your priority as well this is you right? this is investing in you make learning your number one priority and then understanding so can you teach it do you understand it thoroughly and then applying it making it what you do each day so that it starts to pay the bills so that you can lose that other job that was paying the bills the next is the next category on investments is friends and influence. You want to invest time in friends and influences, uh, influences being other friends that also influence you to do better with your life. And all of these should be things that improve your chances on making this happen. So who you spend time with, focus on that for a moment. If you spend time with folks who don't do what you want to do, maybe those aren't the ones that you want to be your close friends. Try to put yourself around people that are going to do what you want to do and maybe are already doing it so first look at who you spend time with and figure out if that's really helpful in getting to the next level of where you want to be paying the bills with the thing that you love the next step is who you want to spend time with so who are those people that are going to push you to the next level who are those people that you can have around you all the time that are going to kind of positively move you towards what your next step in making this your career is going to be. And then lastly, who you need to spend more time with. So the last point there is who you need to spend more time with to get where you want to be. So these are these would be connected people. So I'll give you a short example. When I was at school, I would always look at the best players and the ones that were doing the most gigs and be playing with the most people as the most successful people. So I would try to become friends with them. And the reason why is if you're friends with them, they introduce you to their friends and you have more gigs and you have more opportunities. This has helped an immense amount in my growth as a musician and making it as a music, uh, making it in the music industry. And now I'm gonna to move to the third thing in investments, which is purchases, actual investments monetarily. So if you know me well, you know that I'm not afraid to spend good money on nice stuff. As first, you wanna figure out what you need to start. So what gear do you need to start your process into your new career? Figure that out and buy it. And when you're making these purchases, don't go cheap. Don't make the mistake that so many people make which is that, oh, this one's half the price, and they do the same thing on paper, they don't. It's twice the price for a reason. Spend the money. Don't buy twice, or three times, or four times. By the time you bought it twice, you'll be kicking yourself. And then when it breaks a second time, you're buying it three times, and now you just lost money. Perfect example of that is a friend told me to get a different power supply for this camera, because it was cheap. It was $29 and this one's $130. Well, guess which one broke already, like right away. I was wiggling it to get the camera to turn on every single time. Now I spent more money 
got the nice one and I don't have a problem ever turning my camera on. It works every time. Every time I turn it on, it's just on. It's great. It's awesome. Do that with everything that you need. So guitars, I buy expensive guitars. Why? I don't want them to fight me. I don't want to work extra hard. I don't want them to break strings. I want them to play well, play nice, get set up less. This guitar never gets set up. I set, well, I set up my guitars, but I set this up once. It's great. It plays amazing. It doesn't move around. You buy a cheap one, like the one, well, the one on the wall is not super cheap, but it's an American strap. I set that up twice a year. It still plays great, but it's not as nice as this. It's not as nice as the other one I have. It's not as nice as the acoustic I have. So don't buy cheap. Buy it once and love it. And lastly, to help you justify buying expensive, an investment in you is a free investment. Think of it that way because that's really what it is. It doesn't cost you anything to invest in yourself. You spend the money, and yes, you're like, money's going out, it's costing me something. But as long as you use that investment and you get back from it, whether it's emotional thing that you get back or it's monetary that you get back, money, those are both things you're getting back for your investment. So it's not wasted money. It doesn't matter what you spend. If you spend $10,000 on a camera, if you can justify it by using that camera every day for the rest of your life, and making a cool video, or if you spend $3,000 on a guitar and you can justify it by playing that guitar on 350 gigs a year, uh, that's a little much, maybe I don't do that many, 200 and something gigs a year, cool. You earned that expensive guitar, all right? So buy it once and then justify it by paying yourself back, not necessarily with money, but happiness of knowing the fact that you use it to its fullest and you deserve it because you didn't just buy it and put it in a closet. Although ironically, these things are in my closet, which is my office. So that's it for Work Wednesday. Hopefully these things help. Let me know in the comments down below and stick around for some giveaways at the end of next month. It's, this was a half month thing, so I'm going to do it at the end of September, but uh, I'm going to do lots of giveaways every month. I'm going to do a giveaway. So stick around, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, like the page. Even if you don't necessarily like the page, subscribe to it. You never know when I'm going to say something cool. And if I don't say something cool, you could just skip it. It doesn't take anything. Just skip to the next video. On that note, have a great work Wednesday.